just wanted to make a quick video on the speedy stitch sewing all that I've been using for my coyote hat um, some of the parts that go along with it alright so first there's a knob right here that tightens down the needle it's the chuck and so if I un undo this uh, it reveals the needle itself a spare needle that you have and this string. This is a waxed sewing string. The string fits in the bottom and here's a spool of the string and it just fits nicely in the bottom. And this is the tension needle that goes into the base of the speedy stitch. So when, we're, when you're sewing and you want to pull down you can just hold on to this and then no string is able to be drawn, right? And if you let go, the string just comes out. Now, if you see, now this waxed string is really thick and durable. This needle right here, it's probably not coming out on the camera very well, but there's a channel all the way along this needle. There's also a channel okay that leads right down into the base so you want to line this needle up with the channel right there and the string lines up to the base channel and the needle channel okay and then it fits right in there just like that all right and then we'll put the chuck back on and we'll tighten it down get some slack and then we'll run Hopefully this is coming out. All right, then we'll just run the string through the eye of the needle. Just like that. So I have a piece of material that I'm gonna be using for the inside of my hat. This is just gonna go where the uh, top of the hat and the bandit are. So I'm just going to push it through and grab this end and pull it all the way out. This is going to be the first stitch. I've already finished the stitch going from the middle to the end. So now I'm just going to go from the middle to the other end. All right. I'm going to run that through. And so I got almost my first stitch accomplished. So I'm going to run this through over here. Now, as I pull through, you'll notice that we got a loop forming. So now we take the tag end, push it through the loop, and tighten. And we got our first stitch mended. Okay. Now I'm going to go on to my second stitch. Push it through. And the loop formed. Take my tag end and push it through and hold on to the tag end and pull all right this tightens the stitch hopefully I'm getting this and everybody can see this and by no means am I a speedy stitch pro that's for sure but I just been kind of learning as I go and it's pretty good for a handheld stitcher, that's for sure. Um, this is my first attempt of really sewing anything. So I decided I'm going to try a hat. And so far, so good. Um, my stitches aren't the straightest. All the seamstresses out there, if they actually are watching this video, are just cringing. But it is what it is. But, uh, you know, I'm sure if you do this day after day, this will get a lot easier. But... Uh, I'm just kind of uh, 
doing the best I can, keeping everything as straight as possible, and uh, going from there. And then I kind of like to tighten it out a little bit after every stitch because uh, as you tighten, all the stitches seem to bunch up together and they misform your material and the seam that you're doing. So then I just try to just see how it kind of bunched up there. So I kind of tightened the, the seam and just went from there. And then I just kind of give it a pull just to kind of straighten everything out. Um, with the coyote hat I was uh, marking it. So I take a marker and run it down the seam and uh, make sure everything aligns. Um, I would have done that probably with this, but black, um, and I don't have any white markers really, so this would have been a little bit difficult to, uh, you know, take a marker on or a pen, so I just didn't even bother. So I'm just doing as the best I can to just uh, line up the seam as best I can. And uh, it seems to be pretty close here, as you see. Now, it's pretty even at the end here. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, sometimes if you get uneven, you know, this one end right here will get be a little longer or shorter than this end, and then everything's not going to align properly when you uh, piece everything together because this is going to be a circle. And, uh, you know, I'm sure a little bit out here and there isn't going to be a drastic factor, but uh, as long as only a little bit, right? Now, if you're like more than an eighth of an inch out or anything like that, it's going to be some problems, but everything seems to... And what I find that when I combine, because this is thicker material, so it's not that easy to uh, sew at times. And then what I do is I just kind of grab this end and I push the needle through because I'm grabbing both these pieces of material right now. And it's lining them up and keeping them even. Because if you just grab one piece of material, it's not going to perfectly line up the second piece of material. Alright, so at the end of the seam, I just kind of pull out excess string. And then cut it. And just do... And just do an overhand knot. Just to kind of cinch everything together. Give it a tighten. Now I'm sure there's better knots out there, but for this general purpose, it works for me. Give your seam a little bit of a pull. Make sure everything's nice and aligned. And give it a tighten. Clip off the excess ends. And then we more or less have a pretty good seam.